Good morning, everybody. Professor Decaf here, and today we are doing a request from Mr. Funnybone. He wanted to know how we could make something like a hush kit that we see uh, in this image here. Uh, this is a Convair 880, uh, and on the back end of this engine, we have a pretty organic and complicated looking hush kit shape that we are trying to emulate. So let's talk about what we're trying to do here. First, we have this star kind of shape and let's count how many we got eight sections on there that's going to be an important consideration uh, the other thing is to notice is that inside here uh, this sort of curves out so we sort of had two different things we got the outside sort of leafy shape that goes in and then we have an inner shape that sort of merges its way back out so how can we model this well this would be really easy to do in a parametric modeling software where we can have really complicated and organic blends and things like that. We could really precisely model this. But we're using Blender and there's some limitations that we have to accept with that. So let's try to make this simple. Let's go ahead and use a GAC General Air Combat sort of standard. So that'll really simplify things a lot. So let's get right into Blender and start with this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a circle. Uh, just a regular old circle. Let's see, mesh circle, there we go. Uh, and we'll give it, oh, say 24 vertices. We're not going to fill it, however. Uh, radius doesn't matter. We're making this whatever we want. So we're going to snap this guy to the origin just to make our lives simpler. And we're going to scale in the Y direction here down to something like this, some squash shape. Uh, now what we're going to do is duplicate this and rotate this several times. So duplicate and rotate, and we need to rotate this enough times to get eight sections in here. So let's see, we're going to need quite a few, but let's just go ahead and sort of eyeball this. Something like that, roughly. Let's go back and actually do this with the right number of uh, degrees. So this is going to be R45, duplicate R45, duplicate R45. So here we go. Here's what we're trying to work with. So let's go ahead and start making sense of this. What we're going to want to do is get rid of these inner vertices here. We're going to get rid of those right away. And what we're left with is a whole bunch of pieces out here. Now, depending on where we want everything and how detailed our mesh is, we're going to have a few vertices in the middle here. And what we're going to do is we're going to merge these guys together. Merge at center. Now, let's see if that sort of approximates what we want. Well, not quite, but we're going to deal with that. So let's merge each and every one of these guys at the center. And this uh, begins to form our star or flower pattern and shape. Oops, there we go. Only need two at a time. And there we go, finish everything off. So now we're going to go ahead and select all these guys. And we're going to scale this out so it roughly matches what we want. So there is our star shape. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, in edit mode, extrude this by pressing the E key. And we're going to bring this out and we're going to click the middle mouse button to snap it to an axis. And we're going to bring it out to, uh, oh, say two, just so we have a nice distance to come out with. All right, so now I'm going to snap my cursor right in there. And now we have a little bit of math to do. So how many individual vertices do we have on the inside here? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices on the inner circle here. So we're going to take that number and double it to get a nice circle uh, with 16 vertices now. And we'll keep the constant radius because out here, this radius was pretty much the same. Those were the same diameter out there. So we're going to go into edit mode and extrude this out. And we're going to go out to 2. And then we're going to scale this down so it just barely starts to hit inside here. So we can zoom way in and mess around with the scaling here. And right about there, that looks about where we want it to be. So what this piece right here is going to do is simulate the curved inside piece. So we're going to multi-cut this just with a couple of pieces there. And we're going to start scaling these guys just to try to get that 
sort of curved nature into this and capture that uh, shape. So we have that, and that's all nice and pretty. And now what we need to do is make this more to a GAC standard. So we're going to have to uh, enclose a few things here. So I'm going to fast forward right here, and we'll pick back up on the other side so you can see what happens. Okay, we are back. And as you can see, I have closed off the back face here. Uh, this is just so that we can have a color applied there. Because with the general air combat standard, well, this isn't really uh, a big attraction here. We don't need a lot of detail here. And why show the inside when we don't need to? So the last thing that we're going to do is just add in a little cone in the back here, and then we'll get to coloring this. So let's go ahead and add in our cone. There we go. We'll give it 16 vertices. Sure, that'll be fine. And then we're going to, oops, we're going to have to redo that. Snap to that viewpoint. Add in our cone. Good. We're going to move this guy up to there. And we're going to shrink it down. And move it in just a little bit, something like that. And there is our shape. So what we can do now is paint the back surface here bl absolute black, uh, leaving the cone to be painted a different color, something a little bit lighter than the other surfaces here to be painted another color. So let's go in and do that. Okay, and here is our hush kit, all set up and ready to go. So, I hope you found this video uh, interesting and useful. If you have any questions about what we did here, you can go ahead and throw me a comment down below or send me a private message on wiseflightheadquarters.com. Uh, as always, practice will make perfect, and I encourage you to try things out on your own. Until next time, have fun.